Hello, I'm Rob Westervelt, Editor-in-Chief of IHS Chemical Week, welcoming you to the 2014 IHS Chemical World Petrochemical Conference. And I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Salah Alazi, uh, Alaza, my apologies, uh, CEO of TASNI. Um, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, just to start with a, a broad question, what's your current assessment of uh, petrochemical markets uh, at, at this stage in early 14? What, what, what are you forecasting for 2014 in your key markets? Well, as you, as you know, we are working in, in the Middle East, and specifically in Saudi Arabia, and most of our petrochemical projects are uh, produced and distributed uh, within Asia, Europe, and, and Africa. Uh, at least at the beginning of 2014, we're seeing some good good moves on, on, on the prices. Uh, there's no real uh, major drop, and uh, even the demand during the beginning of the first quarter was... Uh, uh, was better than what we have thought. So we are a little bit optimistic on, on, the, on how 14 is going to look like. Right. Uh, and you've recently brought on some significant investments in <coughs> gas and in derivatives. Uh, can you give us an update on how, the, how those projects, uh, uh, how the, the, the startup went, and then how the market introduction has gone so far? Well, these products are an extension of, uh, uh, of the ethane propane cracker that uh, Tosnia has put uh, in, in 2008, uh, and it's uh, uh, one of the largest uh, acrylic acid uh, butyl acrylate projects in, in, in uh, worldwide, but it's the first also in the region, the Middle East or MENA. Uh, it went very well. It's a joint venture with, with Dow uh, using uh, the uh, technology of Dow. It actually started with Roman Haas, as you may know, and uh, which was acquired by Dow. But the startup was great, the plant in operation. We're reaching good capacities, and the product hit the market. Uh, we're importing butanol for the time being, while we are in the process of constructing a butanol plant uh, in, in a joint venture with uh, Dow Chemical uh, Joint Venture and SABIC. And this is also going to be one of the largest uh, butanol plants uh, in, in, in the region. So that will be really completing the whole uh, uh, structure of the butyl acrylate. The other project is, is also another large uh, superabsorbent polymer being the first also in the region, and this is a joint venture uh, and technology supply of Evonik uh, of Germany, and, and that has also started up. Uh, we, we managed to really get uh, the product qualified by, by one of the key customers, which is Procter and & Gamble, and, and, and they will be off-taking the product uh, this month. Uh, so it was really a very smooth and very good uh, uh, startups uh, for, for both uh, critical projects for, for the region. And you also have a, an ongoing project at Cristal, your Cristal subsidiary for Omanet. How is that progressing? Yeah, our, our project in, in, in Cristal uh, for the titanium dioxide raw material, it's actually going very well. It's going to be in the south of Saudi Arabia, taking advantage of uh, the, the cheap energy in, in Saudi Arabia, and also give uh, Cristal a continuity of its competitive advantage uh, on, on, on feedstock uh, capability and also availability in, in addition to, uh, uh, to good pricing on its feedstock. So the project is ongoing. Actually, in two months from now, we will be in operation. Great. Um, and can you talk about future capital plans? Uh, I guess we'll, we'll start with the kingdom. And uh, what's the outlook for feedstock allocations? And are you looking at any significant investments? Well, in Saudi Arabia, uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit becoming more tight on, on availability and the selectivity of the feedstock. Uh, but definitely, we are like any other investor in Saudi Arabia, looking around for potential availability of uh, feedstock. We're going into the, like the second tier of, of availability of uh, refinery uh, products, uh, which can be used as a, as a chemical supply like borazaline and, and other chemicals. Uh, and, and, and for the kingdom, uh, these are the key projects. We're a lot into the downstream, taking advantage of our availability of polyolefins to really create a lot of downstream industries being one of our uh, uh, strongest uh, uh, features in, in, in Tasnia. Great. And final question on the, um, the potential for investment outside of the kingdom. Uh, obviously, at the, the conference here, the big theme is uh, uh, the, the unconventional energy and how that has reset the cost position in the United States. Uh, do you see any potential for investment in 
in the U.S. or even more broadly in Asia? Well, in Tasnir, we have the advantage of being a major shareholder in Crystal, which is a global uh, company operating in the U.S., and therefore it's not as strange for us to really be in operation on the U.S., and, and we look at it the availability of the shale gas and, uh, and the availability of uh, the, the LBGs uh, to be really a good part or a source for a potential supply. So definitely it's one of the areas that we are uh, looking into and we hope that this is, will be materializing into something. Great. Mr. Almaza, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.